has driven us to transform the car into a violent space capsule whose abilities require several acres of empty tarmac. You can't measure certain cars today by their 0 to 60 time. That's a carrier pigeon in the age of iPhones. The new ruler requires a runway. It's the same reason we went from the Wright brothers to NASA, from canoe to aircraft carrier, because we, as people, have a drive to take something and master it. And although we've conquered the gasoline engine, extracted every last iota of explosive power, in the modern day, we are simply limited by adhesion. Going for a Guinness record is not as simple as it sounds. All the right pieces must fit together all at once. For the team at Hennessy, the process began almost five years ago. If there's one thing Hennessy knows, it's horsepower, so that wasn't a problem. Its twin turbo 7 liter V8 makes 1,244 horsepower and over 1,000 pound feet of torque. Second pull, 995 at the wheels. So that's medium boost. So it sounds like it's breaking up because at the top of fourth gear, right. he's spinning the tires exactly. on the dyno. Exactly. So you're getting wheel spin in fourth yeah. at 150 miles an hour. Yeah. The traction control obviously is turned off. Yeah. And it, I mean, the car, the car came in from the pouring rainstorm yeah, yeah. and the tires are soaked in water and the, yeah. and the rollers are wet. So even with wheel spin, that's we may we may, we may not be able to get it to hook up on the diner today. Yeah. You know, hopefully that's it's dry crazy. hopefully it's dry on the runway tomorrow. Yeah. Finding a balance of aerodynamics and plenty of downforce without ruining the Lotus's already attractive shape is no small task. So many factors, all of which come together on one day, are the culmination of a man's five year long dream to build the fastest road car on earth. This road missile, though it may be street legal, is basically a race car. A no-frills merchant of death ready to remind you that nothing will ever feel fast again. No modifications, no alterations, and it has to be a production car with some factory modifications at maximum. The tires also have to be uh, DOT standard. The attempt must be supervised by a national or international testing agency for motorized vehicles, which we have here. The, uh, the V-Box 3i GPS unit is going to be used to give us the accurate speed of these vehicles. And we've had the, uh, the circuit approved as being flat and level, so there's no advantage there. Uh, to ensure there's no advantage for wind, we have to take a final figure from an average of two runs in opposite directions down the same circuit, just so that we have a completely legitimate attempt. The existing record for the fastest 0 to 300 by a production car was set by the Koenigsegg Agera R, at 14.53 seconds. We've got an extremely fast car behind us, so um, I'm excited to see how this goes. I've got a sneaking suspicion this is going to go well today, but that's all I'm going to say. The city of Houston and the airport system is kind enough to let us have access to one of their runways. We have a basically an 8,000 foot long runway that uh, we're able to run about 7,500 feet on that runway. And we're here today to see what our seventh production Venom GT is capable of running from zero, potentially up to 250 miles per hour.
zero to three hundred K. So we're second and a half. You can still go one. 40, 14 two on the opposite direction and still. Yeah. Be. Yeah. zero to 300k we were around 14 seconds so that would average out about a second faster than the existing record Philip would you agree I would uh, we can cut that's a new Guinness World Record all right yeah buddy hey. Hey. All right. Yeah. Yeah. that's great that was partner stunning. <laughs> congratulations done thank Some you stuff. phenomenal awesome. let me tell you something the Venom GT is a fast car one of the fastest cars in the world, and today it's the fastest it's from zero to 300K. Thank you, Guinness. But none of that would be possible <laughs> without this guy right here. Don Goldman is the man behind the scenes that, makes, you, that makes the engine go. So, and Kevin, who helped us. Absolutely. So, well done, boys. Guinness record. Yeah. All of that fuel, tire, smoke, everything, all of that work, that grit, that determination, that teamwork is actually produced something quite special. That was. Just think, of the mar just think of the margaritas that are going to get sacrificed tonight in celebration <laughs> of this. Event, so. The world of hypercars is a small one. The Agera R is the invention of a mad scientist. The Porsche 918, the product of obsessed engineers, and the Huayra, the modern equivalent of a sculpture by Leonardo. The Venom GT isn't like that. It's a thrill ride, the fastest, scariest, purest hyper exotic money can buy. We said it last time, and we'll say it again. All John Hennessy wanted to do was go fast, and according to Guinness, he now builds the fastest accelerating car on the planet.